Hello, good morning dear friends in the Dhamma. Today I would like to talk about the human uh, greediness. If you look at uh, the today's modern world, there are so many people are so consuming so much things regardless of what is the environment impact and we have reached to a level where the resources has depleted so much and the world cannot sustain the, the vast scale of uh, consumption driving by consumers and the companies behind them. I, I would like to illustrate this uh, with a very uh, classical story that comes in Greek uh, uh, Odysseys. There was one man who was very greedy and he was a uh, timber merchant too. And this man uh, had a very huge tree in his house, in the garden of his house. And uh, many people worshipped this tree, believing that they are, uh, this tree was possessed by a spirit and the uh, goddess. So, one day he always thinking of cutting this tree. In order to cut this tree, uh, he get the uh, axe and began to cut. And the people said to him, don't cut it. Uh, it. It is possessed by a, a protective deity or protective goddess. Please uh, stop it. And all the people are worshipping it. Regardless of the, his neighbor's request and the friend's request, he beca cut it and made make it into timber and sold it. But when he cut in the tree, it was uh, the tree god was very upset and angry. He made a curse and since the, the day he cut the tree, he had a great hunger. This was insatiable. Uh, it is very difficult to uh, make him satisfied with his hunger, but no matter how much he eat, he, he feels so hungry. So he began to sell all his uh, worth of goods and other things and he buy food and eat and then gradually uh, he lost all his wealth and money and then he killed his own son and daughters and eat then later he killed his wife uh, and at the end he in his house he didn't have anything to eat then he began to cut his limbs hands and other parts of the body and began to eat because so his hunger was so so deep he could not avoid it so finally this man died of his own wounds the moral of this story is that we are raping and we are destroying the natural resources in a such a way that we are killing our own children killing our next generation so dear friends we need to uh, come to a very good way of living and very simple way of living. We need to avoid the very bad way of consumption. If we are not concerned about the environment, if we are not concerned about the future of our planet, the, we will ourselves eat this planet and uh, finish this planet and destroy this planet. So therefore, my friends, we need to uh, accept that the, way, the direction we are going towards this consumption is not good. It's going to destroy us. It's going to uh, bring a vast devastation in very 10 or 20 years time. So we need to grow more trees. We need to uh, reduce our consumption. We need to reduce our buying unnecessary things because modern days we are buying so many things which are unnecessary. Why we buy? Because the media and the other uh, propaganda institutions are promoting it and uh, encouraging us to buy and we buy because of our stress or because of our greed but sometimes we never even use them. Even we just filled up our cupboards and we cannot uh, consume them. It's a waste. So, dear friends, whatever money you have, use it wisely. 
for the benefit of yourself and for the benefit of others especially for poor children poor families who don't have food who don't have basic needs so try to help one at least one person in your life try to make their life more cheerful try to make their life more meaningful and in that way you can make your life also meaningful so dear friends thank you for listening to my short talk so let us reduce our greed and craving uh, be, let us become very reasonable persons so that we can uh, sustain this earth for future generations thank you